O oh, Gumpla God, please provide me warriors that can accompany me in this war that you did not detail in any way, shape, or form. Not even a slightest, not even a name for the war, you just said war. But please provide me warriors that can help me out. I'm reaching out to you. Oh, oh I swear when I see him, I'm gonna... Oh my god. She... She's beautiful. I guess I can forgive the Gumpa God this time. So here we are again. Another female kit to review. This is uh, something I didn't plan. This is uh, a complete gift from the God. So basically it's a uh, LBCS Achilles. Uh, Karina Mika Azuki. I, I don't know what that means, but... Uh, I'll do some heavy research for the actual review, so I, I, way I can inform y'all exactly where her origins are. But other than that, it's a uh, cover art is fantastic. Probably one of the the best female related, you know, kind of kits I've ever seen. Um, but yeah, beautiful cover art. Now, of course, if you do want this kit, you can get it at newtypehq.com. Use that promo code Krosama, get that ten percent off. And like always, if you <laughs> And if you want to pick up this kit, you can get it at NewTypeHQ.com. Use that promo code Krosama, and you can get 10% off. So, without further ado, let's get into the unboxing. Now, looking at the front and the rear of the kit, it just looks absolutely beautiful. Uh, the actual cape is cloth, so that's a definite plug. So, looking at the front and the rear of the kit, the overall quality looks like it's going to be phenomenal. The actual cape is going to be cloth, so that's, a, that's just a huge upgrade. Thank God for that. Her main accessory is going to be the shield and the lance. Uh, looks really good. Looks like you're probably going to be able to pull off some pretty dynamic poses. And it's going to have some separation of the skirt as well. So, pretty all around good uh, posing, I'm going to see. And this is how the kit's going to look right out of the box. Now, she will have some different face plates. So, if you want to get that, you know, it, it, and she will come with different face plates. So, if you want a certain expression, she will definitely have one that's going to be right for you. And the only decals you're going to have is going to be for the eyes. And this kid's gonna be retailing for about 6,800 yen. No, we're not gonna look at the uh, runners in any particular order, but uh, the first one we're gonna take a look at is gonna be Runner D. This uh, color is kind of like an, uh, I don't know, it's like a, a white mixed with a little bit of gray, so it looks pretty cool. It's gonna have, uh, looks like, parts for the spear right there at the tip, and just armor parts all throughout, and then more spear parts right up here. So, yeah, looks pretty good. And next you're going to have parts for the shield, so you can see some of the little handles and everything right there. More parts for the shield. And it looks like it's just going to be uh, just more armor overall. Looks like uh, some stuff for the side skirts. And next going to be this like high gloss brown. Yeah, it's pretty much a brown color. But it's going to be parts for the skirt, and you're going to have uh, more parts for the lance right over here. And that's pretty much it. And it looks like, uh, I don't know what the hell that part's supposed to be. But yeah, you got parts for the skirt right down here. And next you're going to have is two runner G's. So basically with this, it's going to be just armor parts. It's going to have some pretty nice detail in there, as you can see. So if you do want to paint all those raised details, you're more than welcome to. But yeah, overall, it's going to be a nice blue parts for the armor. And next is going to be two runner E's. So I want to start off with some of these details. As you can see, there's going to be a lot of details right there. So if you want to paint those and paint some of the inside, I mean, you're going to have a lot of, uh, of just work ahead of you. So... Looks really good though. It's gonna be pretty much like a kind of like a peach white color. It's not truly peach, but it's a, it's a little bit of a white kind of tone to it. And next, gonna be runner C. So you see some uh, details right there in the actual dress part. Um, you know, you could definitely paint all that, do some shading. That's pretty much what a uh, what Crow would probably do. And if you look up here, you are gonna have some of them, uh, some some uh, panties and uh, some of the skirt parts. So. Yeah, a lot of details, a lot of stuff you could do with this. And Runner M is going to be kind of like a uh, like a soft red. It's not truly uh, pink, but it's kind of a uh, it's kind of close to that tone. And then you're gonna have the little part right there for the uh, the center jewel, the little crest. And here's going to be Runner L. This is just going to be a lot of parts for like the hair. So uh, actually, yeah, it looks like it's all the hair. But yeah, a uh, nice little yellow, very very soft color. But yeah, it's going to be mixed a little bit in with that uh, that red you seen earlier. And next you're going to have is Runner K, which is uh, another yellow runner. It looks like it has the Florida Lee and just some other little yellow parts right there. It's going to be on the uh, the legs. 
And next gonna be runner A, so this is gonna be all your flesh tone parts looking very, very similar to the uh, Megami device and Frame Arms Girl. And you're gonna have runner B, more uh, kind of joints and everything, some poly caps over there. But yeah, all your flesh colored parts are right here. And runner W is gonna be some parts for the joints. And runner I is gonna be the stand. Next, you're gonna have that magnificent cape. And next, you're gonna have the hands, so basically, gonna be to hold the lance, gonna have just some gripping and some open hands. Nothing really too uh, too different. And here are the faces looking kind of creepy without an actual body. But yeah, just all your different uh, expressions. And lastly, you're going to have the manual. So not as many runners as I uh, initially thought. So that's actually kind of a good thing. But yeah, can't wait to uh, start you know building her and add her to my actual army. Because I, I still have no idea how big of an army I'm facing or what kind of war it's going to be. Um, but I know a lot of people have been kind of uh, asking about this or, or questioning it. But I just want to put this out there. So uh, me and Ayami, we, uh, we kind of broke up. So uh, it, was, it was pretty heartbreaking, but, you know, we, uh, we had some differences. Hopefully uh, we can move past this and uh, maybe become allies. Who knows? But yeah, so um, I, that's it, guys. Uh, it's very sad. I'm not even looking for love at the moment. I'm just... I'm just focusing on the uh, the mission at hand, but that's it for me, guys. So I'm gonna get started on building her, and uh, hopefully the review can go come up soon for y'all. But regardless, you can pick this up over at New Type if uh, you really want to get one of your own. You can ask Gumpel Hunter or whoever you want to ask to go and find it in the wild, or you can pray to the Gumpel God. But that's it for me, guys. So thank you for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next review. Bye.